that's me, Ali Dama, back here with Tales of Zestiria, where you will remember last time Dezel turned himself to a bullet and died. It is not a happy time. I have some thoughts, story-wise. A lot of questions, and not very many answers, I'm afraid, <laughs> from a few, from the past few episodes, not just this last thing that happened. Uh, about the Earth trial, I'm just like, it's come, it's hitting me, I'm like, I don't understand why Edna only had a change of heart about, like, I should not have been, say, like, abandoning humanity this whole time when people were doing this stuff to, like, kids. I don't know why that happened only in the Earth trial and not, like, say, when we found all those kids myrtleized. And I guess it's just because they wanted her, their, her to have her big character moment there, but it just, uh, it, it seemed a little off to me, one way or the other. Another thought, I, I thought that when we when we last met Zavid, he said something like, I still need revenge on two people, and I, we don't know who which two people he was talking about. I, I was assuming before that he was part of the Windriders at some point, and it doesn't appear that that's the case from Dezel's flashback. It doesn't seem to be Lafarga. Lafarga was a much more dignified looking fellow, so I don't expect it's Simone, but then I have no idea anyway, because we still don't know much about Zavid at all. Also, uh, apparently Z D Dezel had been possessing Rose on and off to, to, like, build up a connection with her that would make it easy to possess her in the future so that he could use the Armatus with her when he finally got it, which seems like a lot of convoluted planning he couldn't have known he had to do in order to kill Simone, or kill Simone which he obviously didn't end up doing. But I also don't know what possessing a, 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 a Sarah possessing a human entails or how it works, because they didn't, as, as far as I can tell, they haven't explained any of that yet. I don't understand yet if there's any reason at all Heldolf um, and Simone haven't just killed us yet, because they've had plenty of opportunities where they were like, stealth behind us. Like they've been doing like this whole thing where they like broodingly watch us from rooftops like Batman on and off throughout the story, and then just go like, huh, and walk away and it's like, why would you try to kill us any other time if you could have killed us then? She kept saying she set the perfect stage for all this Dezel stuff, but I don't understand why any of this couldn't have happened at any other time. I guess because we now have the Wind Mystic, but it's like the, the, the spiritual power of Wind. But I didn't see that he made any special use of that, so I don't know. I, it feels like we could have... They could have attacked us the second Dezel was part of our party if they if they were just trying to get him get rid of him. But I guess they wanted to us to be friends with him so that it would hurt us more. I, I, I don't I genuinely don't understand what their thinking is there. I I mean I'm guessing that the reason they are letting us go this long is because as a um, a shepherd, Saray has a, a massive potential to make a massive f off Hellion if he becomes too corrupt to bring the purest to the lowest point makes it even more intense. So my guess is that the reason they're, they're kind of letting him live is so that they can get him up to his most intense, like, emotional point, and then break him, and then he'll become, like, the worst Hellion that ever was. And then I just have a few other thoughts about Dezel. I'm still wishing they had, they had fed us a bit more of his story beforehand, because it would have made a lot more of these other story beats have so much more kick to them, including uh, his ultimate death. I, I'm assuming he's not going to come back from that, because they made a bit, pretty big deal out, out of it. But the fact that they showed all of the flashback and all that backstory right before he died, it, it kind of gave it the feel of like, let's get this in at the last minute before he dies so you understand why it's important. And I uh, I don't want to say that that's... I don't mean to say that I think they didn't come up, they, they just made it up at, uh, out of nowhere when they got to this point in writing. But I feel like it would have been nicer if... if I, I don't even see why, why the audience didn't need... like couldn't have seen that before so that they would understand Dezel, even if, uh, Saray and co. didn't. But that goes into a whole other thing that, that this game does a few times where- uh, a few times too many, I would have said, for my liking, where it tries to keep mystery rather than explaining things, and all it does is kind of lower the stakes. But that's, uh, I digress, that's for way later when we've beaten the game, and I can say that for sure, having seen the whole thing. I will just say that the the wind trial does make a lot more sense now that we know all that we know about Dezel and how, how he blamed himself for all that stuff. When the the woman was going to throw herself off, off the tower, she first said, uh, he, he first, at first, said something like, let her go. She doesn't actually even blame herself for the things that are her fault. She just wants someone's approval. Which, when you think about Dezel saying, and that's why he's so, and he, and he gets really angry at her for that, like, to himself. He's like, that's, that's a stupid mindset. That's pathetic. But, when you think about uh, all that he that's going on here, he's basically suppressed his own memory, as far as we can tell, of something that was his fault, and just blamed Simone for it, and was like, whatever, I'll kill her, and then everything will be just, and lived entirely for that, and then eventually ended up sacrificing himself for that ideal, even though he had a change of heart at the end, and he realized that he was being stupid, basically. <laughs> but in that sense, there's a parallel between him and the and the, and the person that he talked down, they, the two of them talked down from the top of the tower, a thing that they refused to blame themselves for, and just decided that they would do this other arbitrary thing that was very self-destructive, in order to absolve themselves of that. Not because it actually helped, but because they want, they, I guess they, he wanted the approval of the Windriders in his case. And Rose, maybe, by extension. But when you consider he wouldn't have needed to sacrifice himself to save Rose if he hadn't done that to Rose in the first place. So it's, it's much like the person on the top of the tower, there was no, it didn't change anything long term. It was, it was only a loss. I think that's a good, that's a well-written parallel 
if I'm reading it correctly, I'm not just going out on a limb being a ridiculous moron, but I would have hit so much harder if we had known all that stuff about Dezel before, is how I feel. Because then that, that, that clear self-hatred, when he reacts so strongly about the woman, fine, let her jump then, um, would have been obvious that he's thinking about himself there. And then that would have been a very emotional moment to see someone hate themselves so strongly like that. Anyway, uh, we're in grieving now. We're going to return to the end after talking to everyone. Uh, we better talk to everyone. Who's there standing at the front? Here. I've made some black stuff, everybody. Would you like some charred lumps, good guard? Oh, uh, it's getting late. We should go, uh, let's explore this city a longer. Why do we have to go here to go to the inn? I want to, I want to talk to people. Sorry, I didn't realize that was what that star was. I thought there was someone hanging out, uh, at the gate. Rose is probably going to be taking that pretty hard, although and as an assassin, she probably deals with death pretty frequently. I'm sure she's lost, uh, members of her gang before. Hmm? It's a quiet night, and yet I've got a strange fluttering feeling in my chest. It's Father Time finally catching up with me. Uh, no, things are just kind of weird around here. Don't worry about why. Wapes! Cameo! That's for you, Saray. Nosh that. And Lila absolutely hates losing people like this. She's very sentimental in many ways, so I'm sure this is hitting her pretty hard, too. How's it going, buddy? Lila, what are you doing? Oh, this? Reading his fortune or something? Incredible. Oh, How cool! Do that? Making paper crafts like this really takes the edge off for me. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I forget about all my cares, and it's like I just enter my own little world. You're yeah, good. I'm glad you've got something to do. Saray, you've got to stop carrying the burden all by yourself. I'm not sure he is. going to be tough, even if I share the burden. I find myself wondering, was there anything else I could have done? Should we have talked it over first? I mean, it was kind of on him. He sort of refused to speak to any of you about it. I, mean, I don't know that was much you could have done to break that wall, to be honest, Saray. Moments of reflection are good for the spirit, Saray, but regrets solve nothing. They might lead to a mindset that will help you not Humans make problems in the future, but they don't solve anything. You're right. Send a paper boat down a river imbued with the remembrance of their lost one, so that it may reach them. Do you have a river around here? <laughs> I thought maybe a bird that soars through the air would be more fitting. Oh, that was that was that that would now, be cool. Saray, Let's send it <laughs> Yate it just hits the wall. <laughs> and like, shroom, <laughs> nose dives. No, that's very nice. I guess we can magic it off. That's I'm cool. Sure it reached him. Lila. Yes? Thank you. But you mustn't try to carry the burden all by yourself either. Yeah, we've all got it. We've all got to cry a little. So otherwise, we'll all There's dehydrate ourselves. Worry. I'm right going then. to stay up here for a while. The wind feels comforting. Kidok, uh, all right then. Rest easy. I'll leave you to it. Okay. I too have a ways to go. That's pretty rough. Please, let me stay here for just a while longer. Sure, yep, 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 yep. He's <laughs> spinning Dezel's hat around. Is Rose staying out here, or is this just being like, we should rest for a bit? So oh no, there she is. Hey, how's it going? Back there, I spoke with Dezel during his last moments. Did he say anything about kicking us in the ass, or? I saw him then, I remembered something that I'd forgotten long ago. Something about him, I, I, I guess. Before, when I was really little. I realized he'd probably been protecting me ever since. My whole life. Hmm. The way he tells it, anyway. Dezel didn't want you to know that. He said he wanted you to live believing you'd come this far by your strength alone. Yeah, I'm sure that's what he wanted. Well, I mean, in some regards you have. <laughs> he just straight up told me. Without knowing, I was a jerk. Self-absorbed and totally ungrateful to him. I mean, I think he appreciated that more. From now on, you gotta tell me these things, alright? Right. This is actually a load off my mind. I was worried you'd be, you know, devastated. Well, there's no saying she isn't. She just is very good at putting yeah, on a brave face. <laughs> a whole lot of things happened all at once. And somehow it doesn't feel like I'll never see him again. And the garbage that crazy Simone chick was spouting, I think it says more about her problems than anything That's kind of what I figured. <laughs> Rose, you're my I wasn't hero. I wasn't actually really hurt by anything she said. Like she was very very self-absorbed when she said it. <laughs> Anyway, Saray, you get some good rest. I will. I hope you do too. Don't know where or how assassins sleep, but I hope it works out for you. Saray, I think it's time you got some sleep. I haven't spoken to everyone yet. <gasps> Oibs! 
Saffron. Art defense. That's for Miklio. I'll hang on to that for him. Hey, Shepard. Tell me something. How was Dezel in his last moments? Honestly? Loud. He was smiling. Oh, that too. So, he was, was he? I guess he got his wish after all. I kind of got the sense he wished he had wished something else, <laughs> to be honest, but... You knew Dezel, didn't you? Sort of. There was a time my comrades and I saved him, when he was just a little rascal. All right. Oh, is that why your fighting styles are so similar? Yep. Your crew well, taught him. Copying me. And yet, I don't think he even remembered who I was. He'd suppressed a lot of stuff, I think. That fellow tossed everything away, even his memories. Hmm. <laughs> But if something gets thrown away, you just gotta find it again. And you found it for him, didn't you? <laughs> hey, are you trying to I comfort mean, me, Zavid? It's not giving him enough credit, I, I don't think. You're gonna be my all-important vessel pretty soon. Can't have you getting all malevolent on me. Huh? And on Damn, we didn't note, say her in our party yet. Lila about that sublord pact. Ah, uh, well. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I can't exterminate the Hellions all by myself anymore, can I? I, I'll leave the decision to Lila then, I guess. You, I can collect your debt to me whenever I like. My debt to excuse you, sir. Something like that? <laughs> you tried to kill us three times. Giving me your gun was the least anyway, you could do. See you tomorrow, Whoops, I did. That lousy. <laughs> I'm curious. Is he actually talking to her here? No. I will say though, I was really worried that Rose and Dezel were both gonna bite the dust there for a minute because they have a. They, they, obviously we had a, a Zavid lined up to be another Wind Seraph, but we also had another human lined up. We have an Alicia, right? So I was like, they could totally do that and then the game wouldn't, and, and like the game would still be playable, so they might do that. But that would be an absolute tragedy for Rose to really get messed up because of uh, Dezel's behavior like that. And it wouldn't really be a right ending for him, I don't think. Mikleo? You're not the most animal dude, but I'm guessing this is not hitting you with nothing. Oh, I can only speak to you from behind. That's weird. <laughs> Sorry. Dezel's death, his shameful acts, and the things Simone said. Perhaps they're all things the Shepherd has to accept in order to quell the Lord of Calamity. You think they usually have a situation like this going on? I'm just on? not sure how to feel about it all. I was thinking you should quit. What? Oh, sure, I'll just, just do that. Me out. <laughs> I used to think that when the Shepherd was getting crushed and overwhelmed by his duty or by his destiny... That it was something that you could just up and quit. But you're saying by that point it'll be too Until late, so I should quit while I'm not wrecked. Things are different now. Is that what you're saying? For Dezel's sake, if nothing else, I want to find the answers. That's right. It isn't even some feeling of obligation so much as I just want to know, in the hope that we won't make the same mistakes again. Never mind. I didn't understand what you were saying, but I'm glad you're so on my side with this. I no longer think you should quit. I see. We definitely have to find some answers. Right. And it isn't just the Shepherd's duty either. This journey is something we, all of us, need to own. That's true. Thank you. There's no need for thanks. I just said how I truly feel. Well, thanks anyway for being a good little bro. Slash older bro, I forget what the age <laughs> relatives are. Let's keep going. Our journey to find our answers is not over yet. You are absolutely right, Miklio. He certainly didn't tell us everything, that's for sure. I, I think I get mostly his deal, but that's not the same thing, is it? Edna, how are you taking this? You were very fond of poking fun at him. Is this going to be very boring for you now that he's gone? Little girl. She said she was burdened with sins. She did say that. Right. And she also said that the shepherd must know the truth of Seraphim, who carries such sorrowful burdens. Of those whose mere existence means human suffering. Sometimes death can be a release. If just by living, one causes terrible things to happen. I don't think that's the right mindset, because you didn't always cause Stop terrible right things to happen, right? I'm not talking about Dazzle, you idiot. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It, it's, it, it goes the same for it, everyone. So what if I did? They're just words. It's probably nothing you haven't heard before anyway. Yeah, but it hurts coming from you. you heartless little like git. <laughs> I don't want to hear it right now. Oh. What, what do you mean, oh? Yeah. That's the only thing you're willing to say to me, is how <laughs> some people just deserve to die. Great. Saray. <laughs> you really know how to comfort really a poor soul. Say is that I think Dazzle was saved, in a way. 
I chose my words poorly, and it was wrong of me. I apologize. Oh, well, that's all right. That's Thank also you, very Dana. unexpected. Don't mention it. Although I'm still pretty confident I don't agree. Like, I still get the sense that that wasn't the only way Dezel's story had could, could have ended, you know what I mean? I feel like there was enough in him there that was, like, approaching an understanding of that the, the fact that he would only be causing problems, really. And I don't think it's right that his merit, his exist. well, she was, said she wasn't talking about Dezel, but it doesn't, regardless. A single night is far too short to sort out all that I feel. You are absolutely right. And that goes for most of us, I reckon. So we can go to the inn or the, the outskirts of town, but I guess the outskirts of town will just bring us back to the inn. So let's just go to the inn manually. Be proactive here. I think we've spoken to everyone. Yep, time to rest. We've had a long day of soul-searching and self-discovery, and mostly soul-searching. No, no, actually, no, neither of those things. Never mind. <laughs> we talked a lot anyway. Morning, Saray. Did you sleep well? No! Yeah. Yes. You don't look like it. No! Yo, Saray. You're really keeping the hat, eh? Zavid, you're still here. Ouch. Lila, is he always this cold? Only when people who tried to kill me three times are... <laughs> Care to explain why you wish to enter this... Oh, she's waiting until we're here. That's quite polite of her. No problemo. My goal is directly connected to the Shepherd's journey. Mm-hmm. Your goal? Oh, yeah. You said there were people you had to settle the score with. Two, right? Right. One of them being little Miss Edna's older brother. Oh! Settle the score? The How? Mautelis. Mount. <laughs> you want to kill Edna's brother and God? <laughs> I'm not sure we can let you into the party, my guy. Supposed to be under his protection, right? Except our baby boy toddled off somewhere, and right at that exact time, the Lord of Calamity shows up. And your solution is to kill him. Isn't that funny? It can't be. I didn't think it could be either, at first. But if Maltellus really did become a Hellion and bind with Heldolf. Hellion's binding thing is new as well. That's what happened. Yeah, we can't just go. The only way to do that is to approach him directly. Which is what we were trying to do when we got Dezel killed. We need to be able to stand against Heldolf's domain, or we're sunk. Mm-hmm. And if the poor spiritual powers aren't enough, then we need one more. If you'll let me fill the Dezel-shaped hole in your group, together we should be strong enough. Yeah, but that's... it's in all our best interests, right? Not if you kill Dezel and his brother. What do you believe we should do? Saray. Oh, she's asking Saray? I thought she was asking Edna. What are we talking about again? Hey, can I have the floor? Of course. Huh? <laughs> I'm obviously not paying attention enough to. I thought you had good to do in the world. Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe. That's nice. <laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, and he asked me to kick your ass a little too while I was at it. Great. Okay. And she did is gonna say this in the end. I told him. Do my best out there. And so that's why. That's why I'm damn well gonna do my best out there. <laughs> why? Why am I crying like this? Could have something to do with the fact one of your old friends just I'm died. Really, really glad he got to travel with all of you. And I. I didn't even notice. In the end, he was smiling. If only I talked with him more. <laughs> oh, forget it. I'm done. Done crying or done journeying with us? Because <laughs> one of those is bad. <laughs> he was a kind watchdog up until the very end. Oh yeah, that right that hit me right in the heart when she said okay that. From now on. Oh, Russ. I'm okay. Are you okay? <laughs> All right, let's go. Great, uh, I guess that means Zavid's in. Don't I get a pack thingy? No. Because, uh, <laughs> we didn't really settle that one, Saray. All right. Yeah, it looks like he's in. So, now what do we do? Uh, good question. We're heading to Glavend Basin. Oh, good, and hopefully, so... so the place where we first met Heldolf. Glavend Basin, huh? Here we go. Great. Uh, so I don't. I'm not sure yet. Was well, Telfern and, and Felice. 
were, were those like mirages of them that told us to go here, or were, did they actually just get get fed, fed false information that led us here? I still don't understand why it had to happen here, but oh man, Rose's little <laughs> monologue there really hit me. There were tears. The one, can you see it? It doesn't want to show up on camera, but I teared. It happened. Picks or it didn't happen. And there are pics, and you can sort of see it on my face right now. Rose, about what happened, I... The last thing I need is to be pitied. I'm fine, really. Right as rain. We need to keep to the mission. Nothing has changed. For you or for me, Saray. Right you are? We need to hunt down Heldolf again. Yeah, all the more so if he's really connected to Mount Talus. Let's head over to the Glade of End Basin first, like our original plan. We can work from there. Very good, very good. I'm glad she actually said it, and I was worried she wasn't actually going to say the stuff he said. Spiritual power of the wind! You said you'd fill in for Dezel, right? A man never goes back on his word. Well, unless it's with the ladies. You are just you really always me? bringing up weird oh, no. ways to make yourself seem less likable. Come on, you've seen what I can do. <sighs> yeah, but only because you practically forced it on us. No, as in you it's actually like forced it on us, as in you tried to kill us three you times! <laughs> but what about the spiritual power of wind? You don't have to go back and get it? Not to worry. The shepherd takes those spiritual powers into his Ah, so he's got the wind so power and just transfers it to whatever wind seraph is with him. Especially not with an able and handsome wind seraph like me. I'm gonna ignore two words in that sentence. I won't let you down. Okay. I'll see to it you don't. I'm surprised. You're quite knowledgeable about spiritual powers and shepherds. Well, if he's been tracking my tells all this time. Well, I am a well experienced grown ass man after all. You know you can always count on me. I don't really like uh, the so <laughs> phrasing sure. of that. I'm a well-experienced grown-ass man. Zavid just wants to fit in. I know this is real sudden, but there's something I want to ask y'all so I can fit in a little better. Right? Tell me your weaknesses. No. Why would we tell you something like that? <laughs> hey, not, uh, not until I'm sure you're not gonna boy. pull some shenanigans I'll again. Tell you mine to make it fair. Oh, on days when the temperature is low. I get that's not a weakness, that's just a product of because you weren't don't wear a shirt. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> you want something juicier? Let me tell you something. If a girl starts crying, there's nothing I won't do for her. And yet you were completely you silent when when Rose was bawling her eyes out a second ago. Alright, try this one on for size. I'm strong against earth, but weak against fire. I mean, that is not supported by the last time we fought you. <laughs> well then here's a juicy tidbit that'll rock your world. As far as I can tell, I already hate where this is going. Up, Lila is. This isn't even about weaknesses anymore. It's not even about you anymore. Just fine, I'd say. Yeah, you're the, the the obnoxious one in the group. A promise between men. God, Zavid just enters and he's like, "Let's have the five weirdest skits I can possibly muster." Mu possibly muster. I want to ask you about something you mentioned. I hope it isn't Lila's. Is this your response to my love confession? Don't try and weasel your way out of this. You said there was something you had to settle with my brother. Yeah, well, how violent it, were you really. talking? There's just something between us we need to settle. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't dig this. This our wind surf in the party being vague. Marry your little sister, and he punched me. Don't lie. Oh come on, he totally do something like that. I bet he would, but oh, I believe me. that you wouldn't have said that <laughs> to him. No wonder he's worried about her all the time. So what's this really about? Did Edna's brother ask a favor from you or something like that? Hmm. Who wants to know? Rose! <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> nah, it's not that big of a deal. Then tell us! But even so, a promise between men is just Oh a my god! <laughs> Acquired title sent <laughs> Sentimental Sister. Shattering Orange, by the way, is a new one we haven't had for a while. Wielder of mighty arms that shatter all obstacles on a path. Proof of having seized power by smashing through an ordeal. Um she can't, she just can't let it go. Proof of a heart that is both stubborn and pure. I don't know about pure. Oh, by the way, sorry, Mikleo, I didn't give you your Saffron. Here you are. Hello, but what are your support talents? Are they all the same stuff? Yeah, and they're, they carry over from him. Cool. Oh, you can get the white hat? Oh, I want that. Yeah. Oh, so he can, he can, he can use Dezel's armor? Is that true? Okay, cool. I mean, <laughs> at least he'd finally have a shirt, but I better have him like this. I'll keep him with the white hat, because that's how we had Dezel before. Since you have no nipples, Grant, good sir, I will grant you bunny ears in their place. <laughs> Can I rotate it? It's, it's popping off his chest a little. Hang on. There you go. <laughs> that looks normal. Enough. <laughs> Can I make them red? That's stupid. Sorry. <laughs> Very good. Until you're a more trusted member of our party, you keep the bunny ear nipples. Watched over by the seraphim. Why are we sleeping all of a sudden? While walking? <laughs> it all might be too much for mere humans to bear. Yeah, it's a lot of emotional stress. So useless to say that now. Take them along where? They could have stayed home in their rooms if they didn't want to deal with it. They went out of their own accord. Yeah, 
and I don't think either of them expect or want anyone to take responsibility for their being dragged into this. What are we referring to? Both of them seem so used to living with the Seraphim. Wonder if they were always like this. Saray and I were raised together ever since we were just. Just I guess the whole journey. There was a time when you were a baby. That's rude. My bad. <laughs> my bad. I'm sure you were a sweet, well-behaved little guy back in your day. By all accounts. Not like that anymore, huh? Catalyst crash course. Gosh, skit after skit. You know, there's something I've been wondering. Yeah, what? You're an Earth Seraph, right? It's cordial as always. So why do you use an umbrella for a weapon? Isn't that more like a water element? Well, it's water repellent. I, I can tell you. Ready to have your mind blown? I'm using it precisely because I'm an Earth Seraph. My mind is not blown yet. You know about the dominant relationships among the elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind, right? Earth is stronger than water. Yeah, my mind is continuing to not Maybe be blown. Not especially <laughs> when using seraphic arts, you can increase your mana output by using the subordinate element as a catalyst. What? Just to let you know, Lila has been using wind-imbued paper, and Dezel's pendulum has been using earth and minerals as their catalyst. Oh, I see. So Mikla is the only one who's been, been using <laughs> slacking. Fundamentally, an earth element. You'd have to be a complete idiot for using something like that as a water seraph. Yes, that seems like a fair assessment. But I'll hold back. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Bad, 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 bad. Nah. To train yourself, or a way to incorporate physical attacks on top of seraphic arts, then you're not doing it completely wrong, at least. You are really being condescending here, though, considering he obviously didn't know any of this. Takes the least amount of effort, but if you really aren't satisfied and want to grow stronger. Then you're just going to have to do things the hard way if you want to go beyond whatever ability. So we need some kind of fire on. staff. Huh. Anyways, you've been using your staff without knowing what it's for. Good job, dummy. <sighs> Three steps forward, four steps back with you sometimes, Edna. But I guess you were kind of nice or something, whatever. <laughs> so we're going we're going back to the Glaven Basin, and it's not gonna suck this time. In fact, what the hell am I doing? Let's fast travel there. This is getting stupid. But she's absolutely right. I mean, when we saw uh, Dezel's last moments, that was like the one of very few times he's ever smiled so genuinely. And that was nice to see. Usually when he smiles, it's like because he's about to murder someone or because he's... Well, no, I guess he smiled pretty genuinely when he helped that person off on the top of the tower just now, just then. But I mean, those were the only two times I can think of he smiled super genuinely. Oh, how I'll miss all his animal expertise. So all right, do we want to not pull any shenanigans this time? Just give us some actual good leads for, for <laughs> tracking Heldolf? What and what pretty tell is going on here? Keldolf wasn't in Glavend. Indeed. Well, we barely if looked. Near us, we'd surely have felt the strength oh, of his domain. Oh, I see. Right. I guess we'll have to search somewhere else. But we'll need at least some clue as to where he is. Agreed. I hate wasting my time. There's a cave nearby here. Maybe we could look at that. There's something interesting. Malevolence shouldn't exactly be an easy task. Hmm. <laughs> malevolence, huh? I remember feeling an unusually strong level of malevolence before. Where are we talking? That? Right after we fought earlier. It was when we were heading back to Pendrago from the Guinevere Shrine. So, maybe southwest of Pendrago? Alright, let's check it out. Sure. Is really gonna go on such a shot in the dark? I mean, Sounds do like we have a better lose. idea? We've got nothing to lose. <laughs> if this ends up being a waste of time, I swear I'll stab you. <laughs> <laughs> to who? Which one of us? Okay, mind. him. That works for me. <laughs> maybe just stab him now, <laughs> preemptively. Looks like we're still not quite allowed to back here yet. So that cave will have to wait. And all this treasure, and the monolith. Very good then, southwest of Pendrago, on our way back from Guinevere Tower. Let me just see what kind of areas were around there. Southwest of Pendrago? That doesn't really seem like where Western Bolt Gorge was. That was more like west-northwest. You better check out Zavid's info. You got it! He said he felt strong level in southwest of Pendrago, right? Sounds like Perlode's pasture. Or if not that, Ifrit's hunting ground, maybe. Either way, we won't know until we get there. Right, 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 right. That, that's what I thought, Ifrit's hunting ground. But that's that's where the Earth Child was. Margaz, or whatever it is. Is Zavid saying that he yeeted himself across the water to get back to Pendrago? Or maybe just as he was passing by, he felt it from that region. I guess that makes a little more sense. Uh, let's head to the entrance to the hunting grounds, anyway. What? Oh, 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 God, oh, okay. It's Things are suddenly... It's this so is, came out of nowhere. Held we can still move, though. There's no mistaking it. Okay. Showdown, huh? Uh, seems unlikely. <laughs> we can actually move in this stuff now. There's red waves up there. Hello, just seeing if there's anything useful here that I might- Ooh, defense times two. Wicked. I've been thinking about how cool it would be if we got, uh, a, a set of, like, tw just 20 things of defense and just put them all on Edna. Because that would- that would be- each one does 4%, so 4 times 20 is, uh, 100- uh, 
80. So we increase by, uh, her our, our defense by 80%, which, although when you consider it, consider how if we're, if we get defense on everything, it's probably going to be pretty lame gear, then it would probably be better to, for her defense stat overall if we just had, had, had picked up better gear. But I guess, well, I don't know. I don't know why I'm talking about that now, really, to be honest. I right, hang out in front of Morgoth. Is it Morgoth? Morgoth, Shrine of the Earth Trial, right? Lavender! Oibs. Yum. This is a mimic trend. Oh, whoops. That's my bad. <laughs> Everyone's at full blast gauge. What? When did that happen? That's the first time I've ever seen my friends full of mystic. But you'll see no complaints from me anyway. I guess they had a lot of blast. We don't even need to pull a mystic uh, for us to finish this. Nice. Sorry, we can carry on now. Except there are more oibs here. Sorry, I'll get to you in a second, you big lion headed bastard. No oibs. Saffron. You are. Just notch this, why not? I finished the preparations. Oh, very good. So you, you've given us red oibs, and there are even more red oibs right over here. This is perfect. And a dark bottle from there. My god, there's red oibs. Why? I forgot there were so many here. Like Rosemary, the haven of oibs. I have dangerous encounter because I'm stupid. Are they okay, Zavid? It's so weird to hear him say stuff to Zavid. We've never heard that before. Yoink and all divide and yoink. Ah, uh, peace gel. I should have used it because everyone's dying. Oibs. For Bino. Okay, sweet. We're getting a wide variety here. That's for Edna. This is for... Rosemary is for you. Sorry, I almost used it on me. And Lavender is for me. Okay, good. I probably should cut this off here because we're just about at the end of our time, but I did talk for a long time at the beginning and I really do want to see what happens when we head up here. Is it going to be some big middle of the game massive F off boss fight? Because the Simone wasn't a boss fight really at all. All right, you, I hope you're happy. Your little friend myrtleized our local zoologist. Now we won't know what any of the animals are called. Do you think I'm gonna take that sitting down? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, Heldolf. God, you're protected by all the dump eye. I'm gonna use this save though, because this one's much closer and I don't like running very far. And I will gust up and get this chest for, or not, Never mind. here we go. Whoa, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's freaky strong. We know this already. Like last time. I, I hope. I hope that it won't. What do you mean? Do you think it's coincidence that you've encountered Hellion's domains at every turn? No, I think it has something to do with all the Hellions. What? This was all your doing? Is that what you want to say? Is this your idea of being merciful? You know, he used to be a general. There's no telling what he's really plotting. Could have some tactics up his sleeve. Yeah, I'd never know. Be on your guard, Saray. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I wasn't coming in here thinking it was going to be cake and easy. How are we supposed to find out if this guy really did bind with Maltellus? I guess try shooting him with the gun, see if uh, Maltellus pops out. Or that. Death wish? If not that, then what? Is, yeah, was that not what we came here to do, Mikleo? <laughs> I swear I didn't say anything funny. Did I say a joke, guys, that I missed? <laughs> you talk far too much. All right, fair. If you're, you're saying it's time to fight, then very well. And thou art the shepherd. The meeting of the two is, by definition, conflict. Do you not agree? I mean, it would be nice if it weren't. Here he comes, everyone. Okay, fine. Okay, cool. <laughs> Unknown resists uh, physical, but is weak to earth. Interesting. Oh, music getting tense. I'm not getting the vibes that this is a fight we're meant to lose, so I'm just gonna give it my absolute all at the moment. Chills me to the bone just to see him standing there, but I can't afford to lose. Saray, please take care that his malevolence doesn't corrupt you as well. Oh, okay. I'll just, I'll just do the little thing that makes that not happen. Okay, so we probably want uh. And none here. Wow, Edna is just kicking his ass. Okay, this won't be so bad. <laughs> He's got a lot of health, but whatever. That just means more fun as far as I'm concerned. Mystic time! Yeah, he gets staggered really easily. You think we're definitely outclassed, Miglio? I don't know, this seems to be going extremely well. Bear Circle! God, he's slow and stupid. Wow, this is the thing we've been afraid of this whole time? I shouldn't I should, I shouldn't mouth off too much, but <laughs> I'm suddenly feeling very confident. Edna is absolutely whooping his sorry ass. Oh yeah, my focus is down, so I charge slow as balls. That's tedious. Uh, I'm gonna swap to you guys and just have you do a Mystic, because I don't like that you're not doing it. <laughs> And Rhapsody isn't that great of a healing spell. It's only be a few thousand, but that's uh, progress. Make no mistake. Why did you guys aren't armatized? No, I'm so mad. Ow. <laughs> and now you're gonna die. 
I'm gonna swap out uh, Zavidin actually until uh, my man things a little higher so I can actually charge uh, Edna myself. Bonk! 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 Man, Sergey could kick this guy's ass. Sergey was like a, a thousand times harder than this. Bonk! Sergey didn't have any elemental weaknesses, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, wait, hang on. All right, he's, he's not like he is still doing a lot of damage. Bonk! So is Edna. Bzzz. I mean, you didn't really give us a proper chance to fight. Do ya? <laughs> I mean, there's it's every chance he just pulls some shenanigans and just is like, Oh, screw you, I win by the end, which is probably what's gonna happen, but... Yeah, bah, 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 bah. Ah, I missed most of those. I feel stupid. Whatever. I tried. That's the important thing. Shake him up! Bwonk! His attacks are big and stupid. Just like him. <laughs> ah! Wait, I'm sorry! I take it back! And then he's not actually even doing that much damage, I guess just because of Edna's amazing uh, defenses. <laughs> Ready for dirty dancing? What the hell are you talking about, Savid? I mean, he can only attack from melee, so I could honestly just run away till I charge enough Blast Gauge to keep Mysticking him over and over again. That's stupid, though. I won't do that. It's, it's just gonna be much faster if I at attack him, because he gets staggered so damn easily. Ooh, he's stunned! Let's pull a bit of the- Oh, okay. They're gonna be like, never mind! You're winning too hard! Boss fight over! <laughs> No, I'm pretty sad that you're making me do this. this. And you'll strike me down. Can't you feel it? Is that not what you truly wish inside? No, 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 no. I truly wish for everyone to be safe. I'm not trying to make myself malevolent. You crave it. <laughs> Would you drown in this fountain of ecstasy? You have Honestly, it would be so more grat <laughs> gratifying to beat you if you were to harder this. to fight, so... What's wrong? I think you're really kind of overselling yourself here. I have no idea what you're talking about. That's right. Did we really come all this way just to smack old Kitty Beard around? Or was there something else? I mean, trying to separate him from what's his dude? Well, the Lord of Calamity is the duty of the Shepherd. That is not incorrect. Is he challenging us? Do it if we can? No. The bastard's up to something. Simone. Oh, okay, here it is. Here comes whatever shenanigan is about to arrive. Oh, all right, okay, fine. I guess they're not going to give us a chance for this one. Four? What's going on? <laughs> oh, okay, they can just do that. Cool, never mind. So that's not great. Wait, how did it not affect... Oh, I guess he's, he's Prime Lord. Okay, that's bad. I don't like that. Um my, my. You're finally putting some effort into it. Who, Simone or us? How long do you think your malevolence can isolate him? For one of his strength, probably only about ten minutes. I oh no, <laughs> wait, do I have to survive for ten minutes? Uh oh, oh god. Well that's not awesome. Okay, fine, sure, good. Okay, uh, so I'm actually supposed to, am I supposed to f survive for 10 minutes, or am I just supposed to throw my uh, damage on him as I can? Because he can't, he doesn't really chase after so well, so if I can, uh, if Saray's dying, I can probably just throw these out. He moves so damn slow. Oh god, he moves fast enough to dodge that, though. Ah, oh, jeepers. Wait, 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 calm down, calm down, calm yourself. Still your, still your... Don't tell me the tables have turned. The tables have a little. <laughs> Okay, but you're still dumb as ever. I could bring him up with this, but if Lila dies, it's all a toast unless I use items. Oh, okay, I'm, supposed to, I'm just supposed to survive then. <laughs> ah, whoa, easy! Uh, pull side dodge! Oh, nice one. That works as well. Okay. What now? Eldolf is trying to manipulate me while I'm still missing the full picture. Is that what you're trying to say? At this rate, he's just going to keep needling me. I'm a plaything to him. So what do I do to get the others out of this or whatever? <laughs> or do we just run? You're not getting away. Okay, uh, I'll continue to run then. See how that goes for us. Don't kill her, don't kill her, don't kill her! Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna swap to her if she's not gonna run away. A weak point? You want to find a weak point? <laughs> I want to run away! <laughs> well, I mean, his art defense is still garbage against Lila's amazing powers. When is his art defense, by the way? 
Not very much. His focus is high as all hell. I guess I can just keep piling on this junk. This Ray's gonna keep dying, probably. A hidden art? What, with Beast? Well, too late. Ow! God damn! Ow! Oh, I thought that was a rock. <laughs> Alright, well, I thought we were doing fine, but... <laughs> this is how this is going. Uh, do you not realize how warped it is to have a chest like yours? No, 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 wait, don't. Oh, wait, unless you're saying I get to play as her and fight now, we're gonna, like, fight as each of them at once for a bit here. <laughs> Ow. Oh, no, he's gonna try and axe her for this. She's an assassin, she's just gonna, like, triple flip out of the way, but... That was Miyama! <laughs> Bring her out of there! Oh no, you're just gonna kick him in the face. That works too. <laughs> Beth Miss Miyama. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's what I was hoping for earlier. Yeah, totally lost your balance there, didn't you? <laughs> Dorcas. There we go! That's my shepherd! Uh. Resist this, dumbass. Do you really plan to slay her? A yeah, I don't know. That. Maybe That's maybe not the solution. Well, I guess she's not malevolent, and you have killed a lot of people. Simone. Very well, as you wish. What? Is he gonna kill her himself? Ow! Water hurt. The <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Well, what a character you were. <laughs> Goodbye now. <laughs> But that, 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 that broke his concentration, I guess. They're all back up now. So what, what are you doing now? No, thank you. <laughs> no, that's, it was never on the table. Nope, I don't like where you're going with this. Let's just continue fighting. <laughs> He's at 80% of his health. Yeah, this goes beyond a simple problem of humans. This is like a genuine, this will turn you into a slobbering clawed monster. It's not, it's not the same. So it is therefore natural to resist malevolence. Absurd. Uh-huh, in the same way we resist death, even though it will always happen. <laughs> you seem to have a problem with inevitability, my guy. Can I just say that? <laughs> Toiling away at their blessings. Let us restore them to their rightful form as Herians. I refuse. Yeah, no thanks. And let us finish our battle once and for all. That's what I've been waiting for. Well. Oh, this never mind. <laughs> we all won't for reasons. Serene feels he needs to understand so more, I guess. Say, but one day you will discover it for yourself. The true nature of humans and seraphim in this world. All right. So he thinks. So uh, if I understand correctly, he thinks he could lose to us, or does? But he seemed like he wanted us to try and win against him, and I guess he could. All, I don't understand why he wouldn't have just kept fighting us in that case and forced us to win against him. I mean, one way or the other, if he had kept fighting against us there, he kills us, and that's kind of his goals satisfied, because then he turns the world into a world of hellions anyway. Or we kill him, and then that's what he was he was trying to lure us into that anyway. So I don't really understand why he just walked away just then, assuming that we'll figure it out for ourselves that the world should be terrible and return to Hellions. But uh, he did, so I guess I consider myself fortunate there. That bearded menace is connected to Maltellus. You think? We trapped by his malevolence, I felt a presence. I would like to converse with the other Seraphim. Trace of Maltellus back then. Think about it. What if you were convinced you couldn't see something? But it was right under your nose. Well, I'm worried about the opposite problem, that Zavid was already convinced that was the case. And yet never notice. This? The ground? You mean the Hellion could be using the continent of Glenwood itself as a vessel? Right. There's only one guy out there who'd be capable of pulling it off. But if that's the case... Even if all this is true, Okay, is it I, I understand. The, land itself? the Hellion's it's domain is the entire us. continent. It would make a lot more sense. But if the Earth is the vessel, why would Maltellus also be connected to Heldon? Because Maltellus is the only one strong enough to have the domain of the Earth, I guess? 
Let's find Maltellus. Anyway, it will we'll, the more we look at it, the more we'll figure it out. Who's become a hellion using the earth as a vessel? Then so long as we don't purify Maltellus, we'll never be able to quell Heldolf. Well, isn't that one of the Even same ones they're connected? Maltellus we've collected. There hasn't been a single clue as to his whereabouts. We should search for Maven. Ah, yes, Maven. who is across the Cramelot Bridge now? That's right. He was journeying to study the legends surrounding Maltellus as well. We don't have a clue, but he just might. It's as good a place to start as any, I guess. Yeah, but Seeing as how, how fighting Helfdahl fight? doesn't seem to be the thing. I have an inkling. Let's go meet with the ones who protect the ruin of Logren and see what they think. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Logren? That's the ruin in Zafgot Moor, right? Where? <laughs> of course, Saray knows, though. Then it's been decided. Let's get packing, Mebo. All right, all right. Just stop that. Okay, what are you doing? <laughs> Just brushing his shoulder gently. Zvi gave her a look when she said we should find Maven. What's that about? Hey, are you okay with this? I trust him, though it is a gamble. Hmm. Who, Maven or Saray? I don't know. Oh, great! <laughs> are they saying that they just saw the sky turn all weird? Because I would know exactly what they mean. Okay, so I guess, uh, finally, we're off to the Great Camelot Bridge there. We're going to investigate some more across the the, uh, the pond. And I guess the idea is we can weaken Heldolf's power by uh, it, it, by purify, finding a way to purify Maltellus first. And that's better, because if we just quell Heldolf, we either can't quell Heldolf without it, or if if we do quell Heldolf, it'll be bad. Um, and, and, and harm Maltellus, and therefore the fate of the entire continent at the very least. I think is what they're getting at here. So, one way or the other, the right thing to do seems to be good to head off and search up this Maltellus chap first, which requires us uh, going across this bridge, which is about bloody time. I've been uh, hankering to get across this bridge and see what's over there. So will those purple splotches just be gone now, or what? Man, I hope when we finally fight him for real that uh, <laughs> he's as slow and dumb as he was there and still weak to earth, because... Edna was just absolutely roasting that man. Well, once again, we have our heading, and we'll be charging on there through there, and it looks like we are going up to that northwest uh, portion. Zeph got more, I guess, is what that all, uh, some of that is anyway. To do a bit more research before we can uh, go fight this Hildolfi dude. You know, I always understand everything in the story more when I read the synopsis after. I feel like it explains it better than the cutscenes do. Let me just read this. Okay, basically they're just saying Sarai feels like he doesn't have enough information and that Sarai Heldolf could still pull some stuff. It doesn't explain to me why Heldolf won't kill us here, but... Wait, is this here? It was he himself who had killed his friend in Shattered Rose's life. I mean, he got his friend killed, but I don't think he actually killed him himself. <laughs> An outburst of shouting and tears from Rose helped dissolve the suspicion and bring peace. Great, anyway, we're off. I mean, it's, it's that's a cool story beat. I like that. I liked, I liked Rose's little spewing of his last sort of message. Oh my god, Lila's at exactly half health. So is Saray. What? Why is that? And I like that she she finally got that uh, that thing that he that he was trying to hide it from her. I'm glad it, it, he ended up not though that or he, she ended up figuring it out that they had history together because in a way it's uh, even though I know Dezel was didn't want to like drag her down. I'm I'm sure it's a bit of vindication for him that she now knows how much he cares. Or sorry. Uh, that he knows that she knows how much he cares. And I welled up when Rose was giving her a little speech there. So it was uh, done well, I'd say. This game has so many good, uh, good, like, sharp beats. It's like a Zelda game in that way. There are so many, like, memorable beats. Anyhow, uh, to the Great Bridge of Camelot Bridge, finally. And we'll see what those, maybe those things will just be gone. And we can just get by, which will be all kinds of side quests we can finally do. Next time on Tales of Asteria. Wasn't that just a good time for us? I and mean, it was still sad, but it was a good time. <laughs> Next video going up on the channel is going to be some more... Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, I believe. So with that, I thank you right kindly for coming around. Hopefully I will see you around. Admiral's gonna be out of here now. Peace! Things are heating up. Interesting. Sonny hasn't been able to bring himself to go into that, uh, into that monkey piano for a long time now. Oh! Hey! So... Okay, cool. I'll just go save and stuff. God, maybe I'll play Heart of Fright. <laughs>